The engines were waiting for their coal when Rusty arrived. Don't use the old wooden bridge, said Rusty. It's dangerous. How would you know, wished Duncan. You're only a diesel. And he puffed crossly away. He didn't even wait for his coal. There's still one bad bit, warned Rusty, just before the first station. An engine might come off there, particularly Duncan. He will rock and roll along the line. Look at him right now. I hope he doesn't hurt his passengers. What's that about me? I'm a plane engine, and I believe in plane speaking. Speak up! Rusty warned Duncan about the bad bit of rail. Huh! I know my way about. I don't need smelly diesels to tell me what to do. Rusty felt hurt. Duncan banged about the yard. Then, he clattered crossly to the station. James was already there, waiting for him. You're late, he snapped. I know, said Duncan. It's that smelly diesel's fault. Rusty tries to teach me how to stay on the rails, and then goes off leaving me to find my own coaches. You poor engine, sympathized James. I know all about diesels. One crept into our yard and ordered us about. I soon sent him packing. Duncan was filled with admiration. He didn't know that James was boastful, and sometimes didn't tell the truth. I warned him, said Rusty. But all he did was call me names. The little diesel refused to move. I'm ashamed of you, Rusty, said Scarloe. Think of the passengers. What are they going to do? Oh, I'd forgotten them. Yes, of course. We must help the passengers. And Rusty roared into life. 